Bees are, in general, are important because they're extremely efficient pollinators of both native wallflowers, but also most of the fruits and nut crops that we grow and consume throughout the world. In Maine, they pollinate wild blueberry. A wild blueberry is an incredibly uh, pollinator-dependent crop. It has these bell-shaped flowers that need bees to land on the flower, shake the flower just right to get the pollen out, and then those bees need to fly to other flowers. And honeybees are particularly significant pollinators and become more and more important because they can be managed uh, like livestock and be brought into areas that may have low populations of native bees um, where there's crop production that relies on bee pollination. I have kept bees since I was uh, sort of a teenager and so that's now more than 50 years, but um, I've been doing research on bees since really I arrived at Maine in the late uh, 1880s. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> the late 1980s. <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> There's 275 species currently that we know of in Maine. There are probably more, but I, I suspect that really not, not many more than 300 species of bees. Uh, they're just so cool. They're different shapes and sizes and colors, and they're really fun to go out there and find. The research projects on campus are all related by having a common theme. And the common theme is to improve the health of uh, the bee communities in Maine. Yeah, so let's see if we can find bees. So what's going on with bumblebees is that some species are going up in numbers in terms of relative abundance, and then others have been declining. Part of my research is kind of sussing out what is going on, what is behind the declines. I study how wild bees use the landscape in a number of ways. Uh, one of the projects that I'm doing is looking at bees in power lines. It's kind of strange to think about power lines as bee habitat. I'm looking at them as being beneficial for bees. We're looking at power lines um, near blueberry fields, thinking about uh, power lines serving as a source of bee habitat for wild bees after the blueberry bloom. I'm part of the uh, Maine EBSCOR program at the university. It's an internship program for uh, high school students and my specific project is looking at parasites in bumblebees and their uh, relation to bumblebee populations. So we're testing the uh, rates of infection in bees in both uh, natural environments and urbanized environments uh, among different species. We depend a lot on the students for helping us do the research and they learn a lot about the biology and ecology of bees, but on the flip side, they actually contribute a lot and we learn a lot from their own research, so it's been wonderful. Without the bees, not only would we not have nuts and, and fruits to eat, but we would really miss a lot of the wonderful, colorful wallflowers that we see. With the decline in honeybee health um, and the stability of honeybees, being questioned, you know, we have we have some pretty drastic losses in honeybees in the state. Um, knowing what our wild bee populations are, how we can get um, the most out of them for crop pollination purposes, and also for just appreciating them for what we are, um, I think this project is really important in determining the pollination security for the state, and particularly the wild blueberry industry.